Hello everyone, Jana is here and welcome to Financial Accounting. Our topic today is nature of business and accounting. And if you haven't studied accounting in the past, that's the best place to start. Businesses come in all sizes from a local store to Walmart and Amazon. The objective of most businesses is to earn a profit. Profit is the difference between the amounts received from customers for goods and services and the amounts paid for the inputs used to provide the goods and services. The three types of businesses that are operated for profit include service business, merchandising business, and manufacturing business. Setting up a business can follow several different formats. A proprietorship is owned by one individual and is the easiest form of business to establish. Over 70% of the businesses in the United States are organized as proprietorships. A partnership is similar to a proprietorship, but is owned by two or more individuals. About 10% of the businesses in the United States are organized as partnerships. A corporation operates as a legal entity separate from its owners called stockholders. The ownership of a corporation is divided into shares of stock which each shareholder purchases to gain ownership interest in the corporation. About 20% of businesses in the United States are organized as corporations. Limited liability companies combine the ownership attributes of a partnership and corporation. This format operates mainly like a partnership, but owners have limited liability, which is an advantage of the corporate structure. There are several factors that should be considered when choosing a form of business organization. A proprietorship is the easiest business to form. However, a proprietorship has the disadvantages of unlimited liability for the proprietor. Also, proprietorships organizational life is limited by the life of the owner. Proprietorships and partnerships also have a more difficult time than corporations in raising capital. However, a corporation being a separate legal entity is taxed separately from its owners. This table summarizes the similarities and differences among the four different forms of organizations. A manufacturing, merchandising or services can be organized under any of these forms. However, businesses that require a large amount of resources, such as a large manufacturer or merchandiser, usually are organized as a corporation. Companies try to maximize profits by earning high revenues while maintaining low costs. Maximizing the company's profit can be achieved by increasing revenues while maintaining low costs. However, competitors usually try to do the same thing. Companies gain advantage over competitors by using one of the two general pricing strategies. Low cost strategy, where a company designs and produces products and services at a lower cost than its competitors and premium price strategy, where a company tries to design and produce products or services that serve unique market needs, allowing it to charge premium prices. A stakeholder is a person or entity with an interest in the economic performance and well-being of a company. Business stakeholders can come from several areas and can be generally classified into one of four categories. Capital market stakeholders, product or service market stakeholders, 
government stakeholders, and internal stakeholders. Capital market stakeholders offer financing for a company to start up, expand, or continue business. Banks and creditors expect to recover the original amount loaned to the company plus interest. Stockholders want to maximize the value of their investment in a business. Product or service market stakeholders purchase the company's products and services or sell their products and services to the company. Customers have a stake in the continued health of the company to be confident they will receive their product or service. Similarly, suppliers have financial interest in the company. Suppliers expect to be paid for goods or services they provide to the company. Government stakeholders can be federal, state, county, city, or other regulatory bodies. The more successful a company, the more it will pay in taxes. Finally, internal stakeholders include managers and employees who depend on the continued success of a company to remain employed. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos are coming soon.